بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سبحان الذي اسرا بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام الى المسجد الاقصى الذي باركنا حوله لنريه من اياتنا انه هو السميع البصير صدق الله العظيم سبحان الذي اسرا بعبده glorified is he who took his bondsman his servant محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم by night من المسجد الحرام from the sacred mosque that is of Mecca إلى المسجد الأقصى to the remote mosque that is what, what, which was in Jerusalem الذي باركنا حوله whose environment and neighborhood we have blessed لنريه من آياتنا so that we show to him to Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم our signs who was Samuel Basir verily he is all listening, all seeing. And we gave Moses والسلام, Al-Kitab, Torah, the book. Israel, and we declared it, made it a guidance for the children of Israel. Now note the difference. Torah was guidance for Bani Israel only. Not for the whole of humanity. While Quran is hudal linnas wa bayyinati min al-huda wal furqan. Shahru Ramadan al-lazi unzila fihi al-Quran hudal linnas wa bayyinati min al-huda wal furqan. It is the guidance for all mankind, for whole human race. Wa atayna Musa al-kitab wa jalna hudal li bani Israel. Allah tattakhizu min duni wa kila. The essence of the teaching of Torah was don't take anybody, guardian, by my side, alongside me. You should trust me. You should put all the trust in me, not trusting anybody else, not relying on anybody else, not hoping help from anybody else. Allah tattakhizu min duni wakila. Take not any guardian beside me. You are the progeny of those people who we had carried in that, you know, uh, ark, yes, with Nuh alayhi salatu was salam. In the hukana abdan shakura, verily, Nuh alayhi salatu salam was our bondsman, our servant, and very grateful servant. وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَىٰ بَنِ إِسْرَائِيلَ فِي الْكِتَابِ لَتُفْسِدُنَّ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَّتَيْنِ وَلَتَعْلُنَّ عُلُوًا كَرْوِيرًا And we had decided and declared for the children of Israel in the book, you will certainly do mischief in the earth twice. And you will certainly rise to the height of insolence and arrogance and tyranny. Now, please let me give you a view, a review, let me say it, of the history. Because here, in this first section of Surah Bani Israel, the history of Bani Israel is being referred to. The history of the former Muslim Ummah starts from the year nearly 1400 BC, when Torah was given to Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. But their rise to power and glory that was about 400 years later. Not the case with us. Our Khilafat Rashta, the pious caliphate, was just adjacent to the period of Muhammad. But there was three or four centuries gap between Moses and their glorious time. The glorious time was the reign of Talut, Dawood, and Sulaiman three kings, about 100 years, 1000 BC to 900 BC. After Sulaiman the kingdom broke into two. The northern kingdom of Israel, the capital was Samaria, and southern kingdom of Judea, Yehuda, and its 
کیپٹل واس جروسلم بٹ دین دیر واز دی ڈاؤن فال دیز پیپل جسٹ تھری دی بک اینڈ شریع آف اللہ آن دیئر بیکس ٹرن اوے فرام دی شریع دے آر لونگ دس ورلڈ اینڈ اٹس لگژریز ایٹسٹرا ایٹسٹرا سو دین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ سینڈ ٹو دیم دی چیسٹسمنٹ دی پنشمنٹ ان دس ورلڈ فرسٹ آف آل دی ناردرن کنگڈم اسرائیل واز ڈسٹرائڈ بائی اے سیریئنس ان دی ایئر سیون تھرٹی ون بفور کرائسٹ اینڈ دین آفٹر دیٹ ڈے یو نو اسرائیل کیم ان ٹو ایگزٹینس ان نائنٹین فورٹی ایٹ ان دس سینچری اسرائیل واز دی ناردرن کنگڈم وچ واز ڈسٹرائڈ ان دی ایئر سیون ہنڈریڈ تھرٹی ون بفور کرائسٹ اینڈ دین یو نو جیوڈی جو یہودا دیٹ واز آلسو ڈسٹرائڈ بائی نیبو کٹ نظر ان دی ایئر فائیو ایٹی سیون بفور کرائسٹ ہنڈریڈ اینڈ تھاؤزینڈ آف پیپل ور میسکرڈ ہنڈریڈ اینڈ تھاؤزینڈ آف پیپل ور ٹیکن ایز کیپٹو بیبیلونیا not a single soul remained in jerusalem not two bricks remained intact the temple we should call it mosque they call it temple solomon's temple temple of solomon it was the mosque built by hazrat sulaiman alayhi salatu wasalam but it was raised to the ground by nabukadnezar demolished but then after some time This kingdom of Babylonia was destroyed by Cyrus, the king of Persia. Kehoros or Cyrus and Zulkarnain, who is mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf in the Quran. So when he destroyed Babylonia, he then allowed Jews to go back. But they didn't come and block, only trickle down, coming, some people coming, others stayed back there. And then Darius, who was the next king, after Cyrus, then he helped them to go back. And they came with Hazrat Uzair alayhi salatu was salam in the year 458 BC. Now the, another period started for them. And that was the period of second glory. A Maccabi empire was established. Because due to the reformationary work which was done by Hazrat Uzair alayhi salatu was salam, people again apologized to Allah, repented to Allah, they rectified their manners, they started practicing the Sharia. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again gave them a chance. Again there was a rise. And again they had a, you know, power and glory in this world. And that was the Maccabi kingdom, which as far as the area is concerned, it was greater than the kingdom of Solomon. Sulaiman alayhi salatu was salam. But then, again there was a downfall. Again they forgot about the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again they were after the worldly gains and the earthly pleasures and lusts. So again, you know, then they were punished at the hands of the, first at the hands of the Greek, Alexander and Seleucus. Then at the hands of the Romans. And they were under the Romans actually, although the Romans had put a king, local king here in Judea, and he was Herod the Great. But actually, the governing force was, and the garrison, the Roman garrison was there. This is the history. Two rises, two falls. One rise to glory, during, uh, that is the pinnacle was, the days of Talut, Dawud, and Suleiman. Then the downfall and this lower crest was number one destruction of Israel at the hands of Assyrians, 731 BC. And then the destruction of Judea at the hands of Nebuchadnezzar and demolition of the first temple, 587 BC. Then there was a revival in them, a revival, a renaissance. And then they had a Maccabi power again. They rose to height and power. But again, second downfall. And that downfall, you know, the lowest ebb was when in the year 70, Titus, a Roman general, 
massacred 100,133,000 Jews in one day in Jerusalem. And then another 63,000 taken as captives, slaves. And the Jews were ordered to go away from Palestine. Their period of diaspora started. Some went to Europe, others to Asia, others to Africa, diaspora. Diaspora started from the year 70 AD and it ended in the year 1917 after the Balfour Declaration when the British, under the British mandate, Balfour declared, he was the foreign secretary of British Empire, that Jews can come back to Palestine and they can settle there. So this period from 70 AD to 1917, it was their diaspora. And then in 1948, their state of Israel was established. In 1967, they, you know, increased their area by capturing the Sinai Peninsula from the Egyptians, the Golan Heights from the Syrians, and the West Bank, whole of it from Jordan. And this is the dispute which is going on now. We don't know what form it will take, but it can flare up at any time into a very big war, very big war, very big war. And Surah Al-Kahf starts with a prophecy that a very big war will come, but that we shall read tomorrow. Now come to the text. وَقَضَيْنَا إِلَىٰ بَنِ إِسْرَائِيلَ فِي الْكِتَابِ لَتُفْسِدُنَّ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَّتَيْنِ وَلَا تَعْلُنَّ عُلُوبٌ كَبِيرًا And we had forewarned the children of Israel, that you will certainly make mischief, great mischief in the earth twice. And you will certainly rise to the height of arrogance and tyranny. 